everyone welcome back to my channel apologies long time no speak so if you are new to my channel my name's andrea and i'm currently trying to lose weight following a swimming world plan and she says that with tongue in cheek <laughs> um excuse the location that i am at but i started filming this vlog and my battery um proceeded to run out so i've just plugged it in on one of the little shelves and i'm using the shelf to film my vlog from there instead because it's the most easily accessible plug and then yeah so apologies that's why you can see the couch just there um but yeah so sorry that i've not been around so so sorry um i would love to blame if you are new here i'm a mum of four i have four children two boys two girls varying age from 14 years old right the way down to eight months old and I've got a husband and I've got a dog and I've got cats and I've got gerbils and I would love to say that all them lot are the reason why I've not vlogged but it's not the case I would be lying to you and I'd be lying to myself if I said that was that I've just been too busy because I have been busy but that isn't the reason why it's all been down to me and I am going to be absolutely 100% brutally honest because i'm only lying to myself if i start lying to everyone else as well and it's because i'm not being on plan basically so if i rewind the clock the last time i did a weighing update or a vlog or anything like that i was going to group on monday the 27th of june and i was hoping to get at least one and a half pounds i think i needed then in order to get my two nice stone award so I'm just going to dive right in as well on this vlog of my weighing update from the last time. Um, so yeah, went to group that Monday, Monday the 27th, and I'm very, very, very happy to say that on that day, I managed to lose two and a half pound, which brilliant. It meant I got my two and a half stone award. So to Monday the 27th last week, up to that date, I've lost two stone and eight pound in total, which yeah, I was ecstatic. I was over the moon, absolutely chuffed. Give me a right good zest to carry on and keep going and keep losing this weight. Because whether you've been following me for a little while now or whether you are new here, you may or may not know that my goal is to get to target, which is a six stone loss in total by Christmas. That was my goal for the beginning of this year. I started this journey back in January and that is what I was aiming for. I'm speaking in past tense. I am still on on the wagon. But again, I'll get there in a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's my goal. I want to get to Target by Christmas. And seeing that two and a half pound loss, two stone, eight pound gone, really did give me the jolt that I needed. And... It was fantastic super super happy it gave me that jolt right up until the point that my foot stepped out of group as soon as my foot stepped out of group my brain was just gone for the simple fact that you, again you may have may not have caught the last week i was busy it was kieran's birthday he was turning 14 i had a friend's 30th birthday so i was going out for that and then me and kev were going away for the weekend a little family not a little family a little husband and wife getaway cheeky weekend away down in london we've not been away since before i was pregnant with alana and she is nearly two and a half year old now since all the covid pandemic rubbish started we've just not had a night away just me and him we've been away with the kids but just me and him in all that time so I had that last weekend as well. So with all those things going on, and I mean, Kieran, we always either go out for something to eat or we get a takeaway of the, the child's birthday in question's choice. So we always do all that. Obviously, there's cakes involved, there's food, everything, you know, regardless of what diet plan you're doing, even if it's calorie counting, none of it that we had planned would have fit into any kind of diet plan including calorie counting for the sheer volume of food that was planned to be eaten i would have blown any calories that i was on out of the water and i'm a all or nothing kind of girl that if i'm gonna celebrate i'm gonna do it in style i'm gonna do it in style and i'm gonna do it to excess so even calorie counting which obviously i know i'm mentioning calorie counting but i follow slimming world even doing that, I wouldn't have been able to just have a little bit and make do. No, 
if you're gonna give me a piece of cake give me a piece of cake it's got to be a decent size so when i'm off plan i'm off plan i'm not restricting myself in any way shape or form which there's two schools of thought to that is that a good way to think of it should you just have a little bit and you know keep to your goals or should you just have a full-on blowout and then get back on it it's it's how you are basically it's whatever you want to do how you know it's your life at the end of the day it's your journey and it's whatever you think you can pick yourself back up on and carry on basically sorry just checking alana she's just mourning her ipad um so yeah when it comes to stuff like that it's completely our choice and i choose to do an all or nothing kind of approach which in some ways it's great because I really enjoy myself when I'm in the moment and I'm celebrating something or I'm having an off plan day, meal, whatever I'm doing. I really enjoy it. But then on the flip side, it is harder to get back onto plan as well because I've enjoyed it so much. I just want more of it basically because it's just reverting back to my old style of life isn't it? and it's something that I'm comfortable in and that I enjoy. I am definitely a foodie and I love my grub so to try and pull it back and to draw a line under it I do find it quite difficult. So maybe just having a little bit would would be the way to go for me but on the flip side again see I've got an argument for everything don't I? Um, but on the flip side to that I feel like I'm being deprived if I'm having just a tiny little bit of cake instead of sorry I was interrupted by a phone call <laughs> all okay though um so yeah I feel like I'm being deprived basically if I'm having just a tiny little bit of cake or you know a healthier version of a takeaway or something like that whichever it's going to be if I'm just trying to restrict the amount that I'm having because I'm trying to stay as much on plan as I can do and not blow everything completely out of the water then yeah I feel like I'm basically being tortured which I know is not the mentality to have but my brain works the way it works and that is just naturally another phone call honestly I'm a popular lady today so yeah so like I say I'm an all or nothing it's the way my brain works and I can't help the way that I am it's just that's how I go and I think rather than just a little bit I'll have my treats and I'll, you know, basically release the reins on myself and then I'll pick up the pieces the, night, the day after. The only consolation to all that is that I try not to do that too often so that those days that I've not got anything to celebrate or anything like that, I can be 100% on plan. That is my whole philosophy and thinking towards it. And so far it's worked you know i've lost two stone eight pound i've had um occasions that have interrupted my slimming journey but again i'm not gonna let them dictate anything um slimming journey or celebrations Mommy. one second what baby Hello. oh okay i'll go get it in a, in a second she's just asking for her milk but the thing is though she's wandering off into the other room and she's a minx and she likes to fill up all of her little pans and kettles and stuff like that with the milk. So if I leave her unattended with it, I end up cleaning up a massive mess. Mom. What, darling? Look, I know. Yeah, it's high. Sorry. So, what was I saying? See, this is why I shouldn't be disturbed. My brain just does not have the capacity to hold thoughts in for too long if i don't get them out that's why i talk quite quick if i don't get them out then they're gone forever who knows where to what was i saying no i do i think i remember so yeah basically i do think it works for me to a degree because i've managed to lose the weight i've not let celebrations interrupt my slimming journey to now and i've not let my slimming journey interrupt celebrations to now <laughs> I'm saying and we are in July now so I think to get through half of the year and then to come a cropper I think I've done quite well on that side of things however I didn't want to be coming at these roadblocks full stop regardless I just didn't want to um but I have I've succumbed to the all indulgence sod it 
thought process. So to basically cut a massive story, super, super short, she says a million years into this vlog already. Um, yeah, stepped out of group last Monday after being super, super happy that I got my two and a half stone award to com completely just going off a plan because it was Kieran's birthday the day after. So I wasn't on plan that day. I ate everything that I wanted to, to my heart's content in excess. Then I was going out on Friday and I thought, again, I shouldn't think it. I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Even when I was thinking, it, I was thinking, Andrea, you know, you're talking a lot of BS right now you do know that don't you and I was having this conversation with myself in my head and one side of me was saying you're talking a lot of trash please stop it and the other side was saying yeah but still just do it because you know Mama. you want to so Mommy. Mommy. Wednesday came Mommy. around Mommy. what darling well. apologize for this but it's real life and uh, I get interrupted Mommy. all the time Mama. in one minute Beanie Mommy. so yeah Tuesday came around, it was Kieran's birthday, I indulged in everything wonderful. Wednesday came around, I thought, sod it, I've had Tuesday off, I'm going to have today off, I've enjoyed myself, I'm going out on Friday anyway, what's the point? So I had Wednesday off, I had Thursday off because again I was going out on Friday and I was going out at the weekend, so I had fr Thursday off. Then on Friday I was going out for my meal anyway, so I had that day off completely. I ate all the most wonderful foods and drank and everything that you do do on the Friday. And then the weekend, I'm not even going to go there with the weekend. It put to shame everything else that I've done during the week, basically. Because like I say, I am an all or nothing type of person. And we were celebrating that we were away. We went to the Red Bull Soapbox race and we absolutely enjoyed ourselves. And as you should. So then I've come back Sunday evening. We came back quite late Sunday evening. Should have gone to group on Monday. Should have drawn a line definitely under it by that point and just moved on. And did I? Did I heck? No, I didn't. I really didn't because I got on the scales Monday morning deciding whether I'm going to go to group or not, thinking should I or shouldn't I? And I shouldn't get on the scales. I've not gotten the scales in absolutely forever. So why I decided to get on the scales that day, no idea. I will get this vlog finished, I promise, honestly. So yeah, I got on the scales and I was disgusted to see basically what I'd done over the space of a week. I just genuinely couldn't believe that I had like pretty much undone half a stone's work. Easy, just like that, in a week. You know, what's the point? What is the point? What is the point in being on a slimming journey if I'm just going to undo all the bloody hard work that I've done? And it's been hard work. It has not been easy. It has not been easy by any means. So, again, reality should have slapped me in the face and gone, do you know what, Andrea? Rather than it being a stone gain, instead, let's nip it in the bud now and crack on and see what we can do to next week. Let's go to group. Let's face the scales, let's draw an actual line under it instead of saying we're going to do it and let's crack on and get the rest of this weight off. That's what I should have done. Is that what I did? No. Is it? Heck? <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't be here confessing my soul to you all, would I? No, I didn't. Instead I got off the scales and went straight into the fridge and proceeded to have whatever I wanted on Monday as well. And I didn't go to group. I didn't go to group. I made some lame excuse why I can't go and I didn't go and I should have done. I should have definitely gone because if I don't go, then I don't face the music and I don't crack back on, do I? So today we're on Wednesday. Did I give my head a wobble yesterday? No, I didn't either. I didn't. And again, this isn't apologies because I know people come and we follow people on um, YouTube because I follow loads of people on YouTube as well on weight loss journeys and on Instagram and I know we follow these people for inspiration and to help and to you know get you through the hard days and everything like that I know that that's what we do and that's what I should be doing myself but on the same side I just want everybody to know that 
you know, dieting, weight loss, healthy eating, all of that jazz is hard. It is so hard because whichever way, shape or form you want to paint it, you do. You feel like you're missing out at times or that you're being restricted or that you're being tortured or at least this is how I feel anyway. So please let me know if anybody can relate to these feelings. You do. You just feel like, why have I not eaten a celery stick and I'm at Target? Seriously, because I've just had one good meal. Why am I not? And that is the kind of thought, thought processes that get into my head, which are ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, I didn't go to group on Monday. I didn't stick to plan yesterday either. So again, apologies because I know that people come for these kind of, you know, keep me on track vlogs. But I just want you to know that I'm real and it hits me to these obstacles in my path definitely I trip over them on occasions I'm not amazing at sticking to plan all the time I'm really not and I have definitely shown my true colors this past week of when when I fail I fail big time so yeah didn't go to group didn't stick to plan Monday or um, Tuesday yesterday today is Wednesday however something has clicked thank God, thank everything, thank the grass, thank the fridge, thank my waistline, thank the scales that something has clicked and I am not doing that anymore. I got on the scales again this morning and thank goodness I haven't gained any extra weight on top of what I've already put on. I got on the scales today and I think they said 14, 13 which, yeah, my skills could be a little bit wrong. So actually I could be heavier. But I'm going to go with what that number says and then I'll weigh myself before I go to group on Monday next week and then I'll see what the difference is and I'll see what Slimming World say. So hopefully my skills are just absolute mean and are telling me that number because then that'll be like what... So what did I get down to? I got down to 14.5. So yeah, that'll be a good six pound that I've put on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's call it half a stone. I've put on half a stone in the space of a week and a little bit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, when you think that my children weighed half a stone. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous, but it's real life. It's real life. And that's why I'm sharing it with everyone because I want you to know that it's real life. Um, so I was going to tag this vlog onto my what I eat in a day. That was the original plan, but I think I'm just going to post this as a separate weighing, confession, reset, all that jazz. So you'll see this before you see my what I eat in a day because I am doing one of them today as well. Because, again, I need to keep myself in check. And that's the only way that I can do it, is if I film it. Um, so, yeah. I know I'm going round in circles now. So, again, apologies. But I'm just trying to keep it real. I'm just trying to keep it honest. And just bear my soul, basically. Because that's what we do, don't we? And it's cathartic and it's like a little therapy session and it gets me past and I've got it out there in the atmosphere it's in the it's in the space so I need to stick with it now so yeah so my plan going forward is to have the rest of the week on plan I'm gonna stick with everything I know I was talking about calories a little while ago and I didn't want to confuse anyone it's just I was just trying to find basically I knew that this lot was coming up that I was going to have all these hurdles in my way and I was trying to think of a way that could avoid me doing so much damage basically and I was wondering if calories might have been the way forward but with the way that I eat even calorie counting isn't the way forward because I can blow my calories out of the water in a single day that I will there is no chance of making them back up throughout the week there's just no chance 
So what's the point in me eating literally a celery stick for the rest of the week in order to try and pull it back? There isn't any point. I might as well just draw a line under it and carry on. And Slimming World for me is the easiest way that I can do that. So that's the plan that I am definitely sticking with and I'm going with. And again, like I say, my head's been all jumbled. What's best to do? What's best to do? And I have lost two stone eight pound up to then <laughs> um, doing Slimming World. So it does work for me. It's just, I think because we're Slimming World and the reason why people do come a cropper with it so easily is because you can eat quite calorific meals because there's no cap on how much pasta potatoes rice you can eat all those yummy stuff that are quite highly calorific i think because of those as soon as you do deviate even slightly over sins or slightly off plan that's when the weight can pile on because then you are going mega over your calories mega over your calories and i think that is the thing that people come a cropper to quite easily and myself definitely included what darling okay i'll come and get it she wants another toy now so yeah i'm gonna wrap it up here i'm sticking with slimming world i'm gonna go to group on monday i'm gonna film as many what i can eat in a day's this week and i am sticking to plan if you are already, you can always follow me over on Instagram because I'm going to be posting everything that goes into this area for the rest of this week. I'm going to be posting it all on there because, again, so I'm accountable. So you can find me under the same name, Absolutely Andrea, but there's a dot, Absolutely dot Andrea. You can find me under there. And it's the same little picture as what's on my um, YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's it apologies it's not been the inspirational woohoo kind of weighing update catch up talk vent apologies it's not been that but again i just want to show that i'm only human it's real life these things happen it's how we deal with them and how we move on from them that's the important bit for sure because i'm not giving up my channel's not going to go silent i'm not gonna not strive with everything that I can to get to as close to target by Christmas as possible. And I'm saying that because every month that passes by, I see that target slipping a little bit further away, you know, January, February, like that sort of thing, a month away. However, with saying that, I'm still going to try my best, but I'm not going to beat myself up that if it comes to Christmas and I've not got my target. But... I want to be as bloody close to target as I can do, even if it's just a couple of pounds off. But if I can get it, I'm going to go for it. If I can see it, it's mine. So yeah, apologies again that it's not the most amazing vlog, but it's real life. And yeah, that's all I can say basically. So I hope all you lot are having a better time than I am. <laughs> and if you're not, you're with good company because yeah, everything that I've already just said but if you are please let me know in the comments because I love to live vicariously through other people and your success stories do help to rub it onto me and make me realize like look this is this is achievable so let's crack on and let's get it done um, but likewise if you're struggling as well then reach out too because a problem shared is a problem halved and we might be able to drag each other through these hard times as well um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, if you could do, that would be amazing because I am getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers and I'd love to hit that 1k by the end of this year as well. But if I can do it sooner then that, would be even more amazing. And I am definitely, you're going to see some trials and tribulations for the rest of my journey. I know that is going to be for sure. So if anything, subscribe because it's going to be bloody good viewing. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're all keeping well and I will catch you in the next one. So I will see you then. Bye.